Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here, and in this video we are going to run another dungeon on the team. I have not played the team since the last video, um, so I actually am trying to decide which dungeon to do. We could do Silarg, although I kind of did that one recently. Oh, let's do Nalisa. Nalisa is a good one. So let's see, it's probably faster for me to run to the carrier, which is here. If you guys don't know, you can use these balloons to get around Herborg's castle. Um, so I still have to drop my Paragon of Power, and Nalisa's dungeon has the chance to drop that as well, so that's where we're going to go. So let's see, Nalisa's, I believe is Winter Gardens. Yes. Nice. And then the Panda can teleport everyone else. Let's get everyone in their sets. Um, ability. Yeah, I'll go healing on ability. And then... For the Eliotrope, this set actually just drops my initiative under abilities by one initiative exactly. So that's why I have those two sets there. The IOP, I'm probably going to go Omni Ranged. We'll wait until we can actually see the room though. And this guy, let's teleport everyone. And accept. There we go. And now we will enter on everyone. I don't think... There we go. A little bit of lag there. Alright, we'll use a bunch of keys and go in. There we go. And room one, Nestle. Two Nestles. So let's see their resistances. They're negative to fire. Um, so I'm going to go Tank Panda because it just, in general, makes things a little bit easier. So, oh, this guy's not inside. Okay. So let's join on everyone. I think the Eliotrope missed it. Yep. Okay, so Tank Panda... Who goes first? The Dodox goes first. So let's put Inner Knight back here. Q to there. Ability here. Tank Panda. Um, I guess I'll go here. This Nestle hopefully just won't be too much of an issue. And let's get going. Alright, so let's see if I remember how to play this team. What's the best thing I can do here? The Nestle is going. If I go here. So let's do... Panurinas, and then here, pick him up. Hopefully I won't lag too much. I think that guy's gonna chase me down, so I don't even need to actually lock him. I'm gonna lock the Dodox instead, and then I will give myself some shields, and I will do that. So there, I think all of these monsters have passives, I just don't remember what they are. Okay. So let's see, this guy is negative to intelligence, so rather than deal with bombs, I'm just going to straight up hit. I found with ability that that is usually the way to go in these short fights, because the bombs end up just not being too useful. Oh, he pulled me. That kind of stinks. Hmm. It's not really worth fixing it, though. Okay, so then... This guy is negative to intel, but he goes next, and then there's this, and the IOP. So I'm actually just going to hit myself. Uh, not hit myself, but like, hit as an Eliotrope rather than set up the IOP. Because I think that will be better. And I can relock this Dodox. There we go, that was pretty good damage. It was over 3,000. Alright, so this guy... Wow, he actually hits quite a lot. Okay, so I'm going to use power. This thing's kind of in my way. So intelligence, I don't actually have too many intelligence spells. I have Tumult, but without anything else around it, the spell doesn't hit too much. I'm probably going to end up using it anyways, though. Yeah, I am. There we go. So now it'll be the panda's turn again. This thing's unlocked. So the crackle pulled me, which made these things delock from the tank panda which is kind of annoying but it's fine i still have mp from panjurina so i can probably relock things so let's throw this thing over oh it can't be carried well i don't know why it can't be carried but all right then looks like we'll just do some vulnerabilities instead there we go And abilities turn easily, kill this thing. And I won't rely on the leak by though. Do this. 
And then I can't really get to the other mobs, so I'm actually just going to heal the eye off instead. There we go. Full healed him. Eliotrope's turn. Can probably finish that, but now that I'm a down I'm on a downturn for Cloudy, so it's actually better for me to set up the eye up now. So I am going to we're stretching. I have not played these characters in a long time. Here we go. I'm going to use stretching. I wish I could place that one, but I really can't. And then I'll put this here. Does this link backwards? It does. Perfect. So we'll do coalition. Focus. This. And that's good enough. Didn't get the heal off. Alright, so this guy and this guy, he's negative to water and he's negative to earth. So what I'm going to do is zenith, just because it's an OP spell. Hit through the panda, doesn't matter too much. And now I can probably get this guy with a sort of eye up. Yeah, easily. Panda's taking some damage, but it's not awful damage. Um, and then this guy is negative to... Oh, he's reflecting. What if I walk away? He's still reflecting. Alright, well, whatever. I'll take the damage. Make the fight go a little bit quicker. So here we go. Panda's turn. And then will be ability so what I can do here is pull this guy in bone him once pick him up and can ability get to any portals no so I'm just gonna place him through the portal so that ability can hit because he is weak to fire so I'm gonna heal first though yeah there we go and now I will hit him with as much damage as I can. And the Eliotrope. Oh, that was negative HP from stretching, I see. Eliotrope can do this. A little bit laggy now. Oh, he's reflecting. That's annoying. There we go. Alright. So that's that fight. I'm going to have to use some bread. Um, so as I said, all of these mobs have passives, and I guess that one's is to reflect damage. I think maybe if I'm melee, it doesn't reflect. So the Thermite, I remember that these are negative to neutral, and then Crackle are negative to earth, and Dodox to water. So it would make sense for me to go Chance Panda. We'll use some bread. Start the fight. Um... Ability, I don't have to change anything. Oh, ability's almost out of bread. Well, oh well. Um, I don't have to change anything on the Eliotrope either. Join the fight. And then for the IOP, I will go strength ranged, use some bread. And I actually want to take Pygmasia because I haven't experimented with that yet. So let's see. Um, IOP back here. Ability, Panda, eh, good enough. Oh, I should have put the Panda over here, that's where the negative chance one is. Alright, so let's see, what does that do? Must be a poison. Okay, so that's an MP poison. So I can't hit from here. So what I'm going to do is double hooch. But first I will do this, then double hooch. So an MP poison, so I don't want to use too much MP, but I also don't want to block my team. Shoot, no crit on Hooch. Oh, no crit on either Hooch. 390, okay. So, ability... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, well I'm going to do this for some good damage. And then I'll buff the team. If you guys did not know, Last Breath gives 150% power to anyone that's an ally within the zone. Okay, so Crackle's coming up. So actually, I'm going to set up the eye up this time. But how? I can't use Stretching turn 1. So it's definitely going to be a release. Oh, okay, the Crackle can't walk through turn 1. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do something like this. Oh, he gives shields. Shouldn't have done that. Alright. 
So not the best setup. It's actually going to work, but could have been better. So let's see, this is 2 AP and I need to use it three times. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'll have, what, three extra AP? Okay, so we'll do one. Oh, one of these gives shields. Two. Yeah, Ilya is going to take some damage, but he's also getting some shields. Three. And then we'll do... Oh, I have Fit of Rage. Oh, I used all my MP. All right, we'll just do that. So pretty good damage. So now it's turn two, so the mobs can use the portals. So this guy is putting poison on us all, which is not appreciated. So we will use Hooch on him. 25, come on. And then we'll do this. And I want to hit this thing quite badly. And I can do that with a Melancholy here. Hit them both. There we go. Cool, Crackle's gone. Abilities turn. So, Cuda needs some heals. It's not really desperate though. So what I can do is hit. I could have hit through the portal if I use Imposture. But, it doesn't really matter. So I want to make sure that thing does not get a turn. Because it goes next. So here, I finished it with a line of sight trick. And now this guy... I'm on a downturn for Cuda, so what I'm going to do is just Mantax for some heals, and then I'm going to place this here for the IOP, and I will hit, oh, he reflects, of course. So I could do Conjuration, yeah, I have to do Conjuration now. Wow, he must have a lot of lock, 215. Alright, so hopefully this guy does not, oh, am I lagging? I am. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully he doesn't reflect at range, and he doesn't, which is great. So I'm going to use Concentration three times, should be good. If not, I have more damage. Nice, that's all I need. Cool, so room two, a little bit easier because of the Eliotrope setting up the IOP. It's really powerful, that combo, especially when you have a Tank Panda. So double Snowdew, I believe this is an agility room. It is, yes. Okay, so I will go Tank Panda. Let's actually do that before. Oh, tried to stop the fight, but couldn't. We'll go Tank Panda. Eliotrope stays the same. Sorry, that was ability. Rogue stays the same. Eliotrope stay the same. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is their sets stay the same. I don't know if that's confusing or not. Iop goes to Omni Ranged for Zenith. So let's see. Iop goes here. Ability can go here, Q to here, Panda there. No, Panda here. Yep, should be good. Let's go. All right. So these guys push you back when you hit. And they both go first, so that's kind of annoying. How can I do this? Can I use Waterfall turn one? No. All right. So what I think I have to do here is this and let the Dodox run free. I don't see any better ways to lock them, although I'm sure they exist. Oh, I can lock this guy with this. That works. Okay. So on abilities turn, I'm pretty much just going to set up everyone else. And I'm going to do that by using release. I really need to put release on the same spot on all my characters because it confuses me every time. And I'll just throw some bombs out there for fun. And I'll do this. So not really not much for ability to do on their turn. So this guy pushes me when I hit him. How long does that last for? Two turns. Okay. Well, we're just... Can I not walk there? I can't. We're just going to hit this guy then. Yeah. 
and I'm going to coalition myself and then conjuration this guy and that's for Zenith all right so on the ops turn can use power now this thing is weak to water but I'm not very good at hitting in enchants so we're gonna use Zenith anyways 3000 now he's got 800 HP left I should be able to do that in water damage yeah pretty easily cool so I will go here Licker's turn and this snowdew goes next I want to put this thing in the zenith line how can I line up everything I know I can do this and then brandy this guy in here can I use brandy again I can do this Brandy him here. And I didn't get to go drunk. Oh, I did actually. I thought my turn ended. Okay, so for ability, really, there's just nothing for me to do this fight. Um, yeah, honestly, it just doesn't matter. It's just not the type of fight for a rogue, but rogue is really useful on dungeon bosses. So that's why abilities here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll use stretching. And which one goes next? Oh, crackle goes between us. Okay, well I'm gonna lock it then. Oh, I came out the wrong portal. No way. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I wasted two turns by not getting that portal set up correctly. Oh, and now there's a crackle next to me. That is rough. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Wow. That was laggy. There's not much for me to be doing here. We got that, and then I got Fracture. Still decent damage, but they all three of these would be dead if I did that correctly. It's all right though. Nothing wrong with a little mess up, especially since because I haven't played over the holidays very much. Give, oh, I can't reach him, it's fine. Alright, so this goes there. So then let's... Oh, the wall blocks me now. So this one goes to him, of course. So I guess I'll just do that. And then we'll hit these two. Kind of blocked the Eliotrope a little bit. But the Crackle is the most dangerous guy. So let's deal with him. There we go. Pretty decent damage to him. Now the IOP has to move two to hit. Oh, I only have two MP. Well, now Zenith will deal no damage, right? I'm actually going to test that with 0 MP. Oh, it still does damage. Thought it wouldn't. We'll just do that. Can just pass on the panda. I up need some heals. And we can do this and this. Did that not go through? No, it did not. Okay. Someone leveled. was not the panda. Oh, it was the IOP. Omega 35. Nice. 
Dodox. This is the minus chance room. So actually, before I do the fight, I'm going to switch the panda to a chance set. There we go. Rogue will stay the same. Heliotrope will stay the same. And I will stay the same. Okay. So, this bar is in my way. And the rogue did not join. Okay. Chance Panda. It's a good starting spot. Rogue can go here. Elio. I up. Eh, I up. Should be good. Okay. So for this, I am going to hit once. Come on, where are my crits? 76%. Hooch, 76%. Is better crit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We'll run here. So let's see, nothing here is weak to intelligence. So... Not too much for me to do here. Can set up so that this thing gets bomb lined. Like so. And then I can... Is he locked? I don't even know if the Eliotrope's locked, but I can do this anyways. No, he wasn't. She wasn't. No, actually, that is a boy. It's hard to tell with some classes. Alright, so I want to... Hit this guy. And set up the eye up. Oh, I should have moved back. It's alright, though. So I will do... Yeah, I can actually kill him. Oh, I didn't move. Do I have intimidation? No. Do I have... Okay, I have Sword of Eye up. This guy's weak to chance. Let's try and use chance. I really... I always kind of just write it off, but let's see if I actually am weak to it. That was kind of bad damage. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, why did he run that way instead of there? Weird. All right, I am going to these blowout. And now hit him with that for 2,300. And hopefully this finishes. No, 60 HP left. All right, well, those bombs are kind of just forever lost now. So I can do this. Anyone missing HP? Nope. So I'm just gonna hit like that. And now, now I really, really want to set up the eye up. Oh, but the crackle goes in between. So he actually is set up. Yeah. That's all I really need to do. Oh, I forgot the ability would be pulled in. Well, I still have time to heal. Should I do this? I don't have pressure, so I think I have to. Sorry, ability. Usually I do that to the panda, not you. Oh, I killed her! Oh, I didn't even look at her HP. All right, well. Now I'm really sorry. Now he runs that way. This is some high quality bullshit. Is it worth me running up? Probably not. That is a funny noise for melancholy. Eh, eh. <laughs> All right. So let's see. That's portal. I have no idea what portal that is. 
So let's see, Thermite goes and can walk to here. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. So now it's the IOPS turn. Can I reach with this? Oh my. Alright, well, I don't think he gets another turn, anyways. This guy is weak to neutral, which I don't have. So I will do. Fracture. Okay. So we had a casualty in that room. However, it was my fault. Alright guys, we are here at the boss room and I actually just died because I was using some whack idols that... I was using a lot of major oafs and mobs reflect damage and the reflected damage counts as close combat damage so if I hit the mob I one shot myself. Not very good idols so instead of going for score 200 I've decided to go for faint hearted which is do not end next to an enemy and then also last which is to kill the boss last so let's do that panda will go chance rogue doesn't need any changes same with Eliotrope. and the eye will go omni ranged damage so boss last don't end next to an enemy got it I'm actually going to keep the panda there since he can deal a large amount of damage to those. Road can go here. Maybe. Hmm. Alright, let's see how this goes. Put the rogue here. Okay. So the way that Nalisa works is the boss is not invulnerable. However, when you hit the boss, they swap you and they deal damage in a two cell ring around them, but they deal damage to enemies as well. So as you'll see here, my ethical one hits three times. So it's going to swap here, damage these two, swap me back, then swap here and damage them again like this. So large amounts of damage there and then I'll swap back and we'll deal another large amount of damage. There you go. So huge damage from the boss. However, that can happen to your allies as well. So you need to be careful about that. So I'm not going to use bombs in this dungeon. Um, just because it's not really worth it. So let's just play healer on ability. I could use bombs. Maybe I will. Sure, let's try it. Just because that thing has 41% res anyway, so not like I'm going to deal damage on my turn. Ooh, that's not a good place to end. Alright, so that thing's negative to chance. So let's do this. What's the best combo for me? Probably this. Come on, go, go, go. Okay, so I did Conjuration so that the eye up can Zenith. And is still wearing ivory. Okay. So this thing is negative to chance. However, I think Zenith will still hit more. Why is that hitting the panda? Is that really going to hit the panda? We're going to find out. No, that was some weird glitch. And then... Looks like that does the most. Okay. I don't know why it said it was going to hit the panda for that amount. That was a glitch. Alright, so the panda can... 
Use the passive again. It's gonna push me though. Should be fine. And then I actually kill the Dodox from swapping like this. Oh no, because he's he gets pushed. It's okay, ability can kill the Dodox. And then I can do this. Okay, I need to keep the achievements in mind. We're doing well so far. Okay, so ability has to kill this thing. Doesn't really matter if I hit that bomb. I'm not gonna use it to buff anyways. All right, and then we'll kick back here. Man, this is quite laggy. And I want to place a new bomb here and heal the panda. Okay. So, I wanna set up the IOP. How can I do that? It's definitely going to need a stretching. Oh, but that thing's going to walk through. You know what though? The IOP can kind of just one shot it if it does. Didn't get the moon hammer off. So the reason I put that one closer here, okay, so that thing just healed a lot. Hmm. All right, well, we'll do this. Kill that thing. And now we'll hit him again. This thing's negative two. Intel. Not enough to kill, but it's reflecting, so I'm actually going to only hit it once, even though I could have killed it with the AP spell. Alright, so three people just went pacifist. And that's because we were too far, I believe, away from the mob. So that's not very good. Oh, and the one that's not pacifist is almost dead. Alright, so let's pick this up. Put it closer. Such a funny noise. We'll use weapon skill. Go into this mode. Do this. And we'll give ability some MP. Since she's really far. So I don't even think... I don't even think I can... Heal Cuda without killing her. Can I? I don't think so. It says I hit zero. Let's try. Woo! I don't know how that worked. All right, 399. I'm just gonna kill it normally. That reflected a lot of damage for some reason. That's portal one. I need to heal. There's just not enough time for this lag. Oh, I actually got the spell off. Didn't think I did. All right, so I want to get closer, I believe. Let's see if she likes to play with this thing. Coco on the high up and the game PVM. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. All right. Heal these two up a little bit. Unless, oh no, yeah. Oh, I have propulsion. Hmm. 
That's portal two, that's portal one. Didn't know I had propulsion. So who needs heals? Again, the Eliotrope. Oh, I'm pacifist. That's why I'm dealing zero damage. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so I can explode the bombs and deal damage, but... All right. So one, two... These ones here, I'll swap when I hit, so that bomb will die. Unless I push it, which means I need to save AP. That's going to link incorrectly, I need to go one more. So who pushes who? Let's see. There's just not enough time. It's too laggy. Alright, we're all still pacifist. If only I could grip. If I can. What's this threat? Can I use that on myself? Yes, I can. Nice. Get some shields on the IOP. Oh nice, we're not pacifists anymore. Really wish I had the, that spot though. Oh, but she's invulnerable. Because of grip. Stupid. Meaning I'm stupid. Okay. So we're just gonna re-up Vuln and set the eye up up. Still have both achieves. Um, hmm. All right. Man, I am so laggy. Oh, I just killed the Eliotrope. No, I didn't. Aha! Thought it was going to link to this portal. Okay. I did lock them, though. So that's portal 1, that's portal 2, that's portal 4. So do I have Odyssey? I do. But that's not a good idea. Oh god. <laughs> should I jump? Yes, I should. I think this is gonna be GG. GGG. G. And I swap in the bomb. Shouldn't die. Oh, I one shot her with a zenith. Wow. So much damage. Paragon? No Paragon. Shoot. But hey, we're getting achievements, and that is always nice. So, let's see if these are any commas. Hmm, it's pretty decent. That's not, but 80kk there, 80kk. It's 100, 200kk, 280kk for running that. It's not bad. Multiply times four. But really, I'm just doing it to get Paragon. And since I didn't get it, that means more dungeons will be coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, this has been Ability. Catch you next time.